Hello everyone. Uh, so a warm welcome to this online tutorial, uh, volume one. Uh, so there will be another part which I will be releasing at a later date. Um, so for this particular one, uh, the aim is to give you an overview of how to deal with the creation of a number of various assets, uh, which we will then use to create uh, forest grounds in ZBrush, uh, mainly using the nano mesh feature. Uh, so if you're not familiar with that feature, just a quick uh, note, uh, it is only available on the latest version of ZBrush, which is the 4R7. So I'm using the latest patch, which is the patch 3. So make sure you have that installed on your machine, otherwise you will not be able to, to produce all the same uh, textures that I'm going to be creating. Uh, and something else which I wanted to mention is that I will also be using uh, the latest version of the uh, NanoTile plugin from Joseph Brust at Pixelogic and uh, there is a link on uh, the page, uh, government page, uh, where you can download it and uh, although it's unofficial at this stage, it's still uh, worth having because it will just allow us to um, separate all the index, the nano mesh index, which are basically layers of uh, assets. Okay, so any questions you can always email me uh, at workshop.pierrebenjamin at gmail.com. So here again, the address is on the government page. And um, so once all of these uh, nano meshes uh, textures will be created, we'll be looking at how to export them out of ZBrush as uh, flat uh, plane geometry and um, import them into uh, Marmoset and into Unreal. So that will be uh, the subject of the second volume of this tutorial which will be released at a later stage as I mentioned. So we'll be uh, looking at how we can import uh, all of these meshes uh, out in the first place, splitting them out with the um, NanoTile plugin, as you can see on the screen. I think that's all I wanted to say in regards to the actual tutorial, so uh, let's get started then. <laughs> 